from New York City, Comedy Central presents The Bell Crawford. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the love, baby. Appreciate the love. Hope I look good in my suit. I just try to, I got, I'm trying to lose weight, trying to get in shape, man. I, I swear to God, I'm trying to get in shape. But I think the devil want me to stay fat. Because every time I try to lose weight, they come out with some food I've been dreaming of praying about. <laughs> for a long time. I swear to God, I was walking down the street the other day and a Burger King appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> like it came from heaven or something like, oh! And it had a sign on it that said, Burger King now has triple whoppers. <laughs> oh! I said, I'm not looking at that sign. I'm not looking at it. I ain't looking at it. I'm trying to cut back. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm not gonna look at that sign. The sign said, hey, fat boy. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Burger King now has triple whoppers. <laughs> You know how long I pray that they add one more delicious patty <laughs> to that already delicious double whopper that they have on display? I'm like, dear Lord, if it's your will, just add one more delicious patty to that already delicious double whopper that you have on display just to see if the bun could hold the capacity. <laughs> For limited time only, Lord. God be like, with cheese or without cheese, my son. <laughs> both, Lord, <laughs> so I can make a comparison. <laughs> oh, I'm always having food fantasies, man. When I used to get high, man, I think of some genius stuff. I would get high, I'd be like, <laughs> you know what they, <laughs> you know what they need to do? <laughs> they need to take a Krispy Kreme donut, right? <laughs> While it's still hot and take some soft serve ice cream and inject it right into the donut. <laughs> you got that hot and cold meshing together and you bite it through that sucker. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a little bit of an orgasm for a minute. <laughs> Is somebody in the audience fast talking about, he's a genius! <laughs> yes, I am. But I, wear, I got worried about my weight, man, and I had to go to the doctor. I, I hate doctors, man, I hate doctors. Because every time I go to the doctor, they always want to stick their finger up my ass. <laughs> I always want to stick their finger up my butt. What, what is that? I don't know, what is it? You walk in, doctor says, what seems to be the problem? Oh, I got a chest cold. Well, lay on your stomach. Hold on, man, do you work here? Let me see your ID. <laughs> you gonna just walk in and put your finger dead up in my ass? You ain't even took me to dinner or nothing, Jesus. <laughs> Doctors, they like auto mechanics. You go on to get one thing fixed, they wanna look at other stuff. I went, in, I went to the doctor for a twisted ankle, came out with diabetes. I was mad as hell. <laughs> like, hold on, man, how I got diabetes? Well, I checked your blood and your sugar was high. Maybe I'm a sweet potato. <laughs> and I went home to tell my mama about the diabetes. I said, mama, <laughs> sit down, I got something to tell you. She said, boy, you scared me. What's wrong with that? I said, mama, you gotta sit down, I got something to tell you. Lord, don't tell me you're gay. I was like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm too big to be gay. I can't bear it over that long. <laughs> That's some guy slapping you on my ass, talking about who your daddy? I don't know. <laughs> but you know, you know, I told my father, I said, I forgot. You know, I said, Mama. I got diabetes. She didn't even know what it was. She was like, what's that? I said, Mommy, you don't know what diabetes is? She said, I don't know what it is, but you should have been wearing a condom out there messing with a little nasty ass girl. 
I said, Mama, what's wrong with you? It, it, it ain't, diabetes ain't a venereal disease. And I forgot black folk give everything a nickname. We don't even call diabetes diabetes. We call it the sugar. <laughs> I said, Mama, I got the sugar. She was like, oh, Lord, not the sugar. <laughs> not my baby Jesus. <laughs> Take me instead, Lord. <laughs> Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Call him out. Call him. Black folk go to church on you in a minute. That's on my grandmama answering machine. If you need more power, tell him what you want. <laughs> Leave a message at the end of the tambourine. Bing. Black folk, we need to celebrate Black History Month. I think we need to celebrate Black History Month. I, I, we got to celebrate it harder. Black History Month is the shortest month of the year, but we need to celebrate it, man. Everybody else celebrate their holiday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mexicans got Cinco de Mayo. They have guacamole all in the street. <laughs> White folk got St. Patrick's Day. Kiss me, I'm married. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Not that hard. <laughs> But we need something, we need to get celebrated. We should at least get some free chicken. Chicken coupons, our favorite chicken restaurant, anywhere we want. And we should be able to dial down a predominantly white neighborhood as fast as we want, and the police can't pull us over. <laughs> like, real, real, officer, it's Black History Month. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was March 1st. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, black man, thank God. <laughs> But we need to celebrate Black History Month. We had some great inventors in Black History, man. We had a brother invented the light bulb. Did you know that? The brother invented the light bulb, and then another brother who invented the stoplight. I was like, wow. And some brother invented the peanut butter. I want to thank him for that, because he got me, <laughs> he got me through some hungry times. I thank him for that. But you, <laughs> but you know what kills me about Black History Month is all our great creators creative stuff, white man always find a way to top it. That's what killed me. Like a brother invented the light bulb, white man invented the electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> brother invented the stoplight, police invented the traffic ticket, ain't they? <laughs> brother cre create a baby, white man create child support court. <laughs> Yeah, but speaking of Black History Month, I went to the whitest part of America. I went to the whitest part of America, Aspen, Colorado. <laughs> it ain't no black folk nowhere up there, nowhere. It was one brother when I got off the plane, he shook my hand and said, thank you and welcome to Aspen and evaporated right there. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> I said, wow, they got temporary Negroes up here. That's, that's amazing. And I mean, it snowed, it snowed, it snowed. I hate the snow. I hate it. I don't like nothing about the snow. Snow ain't no good to me. I mean, the only thing I'm good for in the snow is to help somebody get their car stuck out of the snow when, when it gets stuck and they can't get it out. They want me to go out there and lay on the back of the bumper. <laughs> So they can get out, they peel off my big ass fall in the damn snow. <laughs> they don't even back up to see if I'm all right. Kid walking up to my, ooh, look, he making snow angels. I say, no, I ain't, I'm trying to get the hell up. Move out of the damn way. <laughs> One kid talking about, he too fat to make snow angels. He making heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it snowed so much, I hate it, I hate it. It was just snowing like we was in one of them snow globes and somebody had epilepsy and just holding it in their damn hands, just shaking the hell out of it. And I, and you know, and some of my white friends told me, hey, Lavelle, let's go, let's go skiing. I said, man, I don't go skiing, but at least you can go up the mountain. So we go up the mountain, man. It was one of them gondolas and they take you up this mountain. We already on the mountain and I can't breathe the air this thin. You know, and if you can't breathe down here, you ain't gonna breathe up there. I walked up two steps and I almost dropped dead right there. <laughs> they had paramedics following me around everywhere I went. 
and a funeral car. Tell me he's gonna die any minute. Man, and I, we went up in this God of the man. We kept going up. We already on the mountain. We kept going higher and higher and higher. Felt like I was on the price right. That little man to go up the thing. Like, I like, damn, are we gonna go over the damn hill? Next thing you know, we get up there. We went so high, we was in orbit. Man, we was in heaven, heaven. I saw Jesus. I got out and I went to shake his hand. Hey, Jesus, how you doing? The security guard came out of nowhere and told me, look here, black guy, this is white heaven. Black heaven somewhere near Harlem. <laughs> now, I don't like skin anyway. Everybody I know that ski, they get on, the, they crash and kill themselves into a tree. Like Sonny Bono crashed into a tree. One of the Kennedys crashed into a tree and died. And they all be like, I don't know where that tree came from. That tree been there 100 years. It don't know where your ass been. You'll never catch my big ass on those skis because ain't no brakes on them. I get on them skis, I ain't gonna stop at this first tree. I'm gonna knock about 100,000 of them something <laughs> down and be, <laughs> and be in jail for lumberjacking without a license. <laughs> I wanna give a shout out to my mom. My mom's here, it's her birthday today. I need a prayer. <laughs> Thank you, <guys. laughs> You gotta sit way in the back. That's me. That's my mama. That's my mama. I love her dearly, man. My mama was tough, though. She was tough when I was a kid. It was rough raising a little fat kid, man. You know, and you know, and I, she, you know, she always weird. She was weird. She went out a little. She always like, the you bet, you. I'd be like, Mama, I'm full. I don't want any more. I'm not hungry. She'd be like. Well, you know what? There's many a children in other countries that, that would love to have that food you turn it down. Okay, mommy, I'll eat it right now. <laughs> then we go school shopping. Then she flip it on me. I, I can't, can't fit the jeans. She looking at me like, damn. You busting out of everything. We're like, make up your mind, lady. What do you want me to do? Either you, want, either you want me to eat for the kids, children in the other country or you want to fit these jeans. Make up your mind. You know, I mean, and, you know, and I grew up to be a fat teenager, man. I wouldn't get no play from the girl. I'd be like, hey, baby, can I get a hug? I'm like, no, fat boy. I walk up to another girl, hey, baby, can I get a kid? No, fat boy. I mean, look here, I got a name. They're like, what is it, fat boy? And I go home being depressed, watching them after school special. <laughs> Be a little white boy on there, he's sick of his parents. I'm sick of my parents, I'm sick of this world. <laughs> he said, I'm finna hang myself. Goodbye, cruel world. And he hangs himself from the ceiling fan. I said, <laughs> and I said, you know, that little white boy ain't got a bad idea. I said, I'm gonna hang myself from the ceiling fan, too. <laughs> Needless to say, my calculations was off. <laughs> the ceiling fan came down, along with the ceiling. And my mama came in, she wasn't worried about me, she worried about her silly fan. And her silly, she like, what the hell? You doing to my damn silly fan and my damn silly? I said, stop yelling at me. I was trying to kill myself. My mama like, kill yourself? You want to kill yourself? Jog, that'll kill you, big ass. Yeah, but you know, it's something, you know, you should do, like go to Hawaii, man. Go to Hawaii, Hawaii off the chain, man. <laughs> but it's some things you watch other people do that you should not do. 
For real, man. I was sitting in my window at the hotel, and they, 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 they was on these, these people was flying by on these little motorized vehicles on the water. They just flying down the highway, like flying down the ocean. And one of them, water, them jet skis, you ever seen them? I mean, it was awesome. I seen, I seen people just flying by, man, and I said, man, that looks fantastic. I think I want to do that. I went right down there, dressed like this. I said, look here, man, give me your fastest, coldest jet ski you got in your repertoire. <laughs> the dude came with the Wave Runner 3000. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got on that circle. <laughs> and man, I started speeding out in the middle of that ocean. Man, and that wave went boom, boom. Boom, boom. And from my window, that water looked soft. <laughs> but man, when I went down and hit them waves, I hit them so hard, my balls was hitting me in the chin. <laughs> Every time I hit the wave, boom, boom. <laughs> By the fifth time, I said, oh Lord, let me get back to this beach. So I hit a U-turn back to the beach. I hit a U-turn, and as soon as I hit the going to the beach, my wave runner cut off on me. I'm stuck out in the middle of this damn ocean. I was like, oh, Lord, why you playing me? Why you playing me, Jesus? What you doing? I said, man, I ain't falling off this jet ski. I ain't afraid of the first initial shark eating me up. I'm afraid of him biting me and leaving a blood trail back to all his family saying, Drop whatever you're doing. <laughs> and come 25 miles due south, I done found a lifetime supply of darkness. <laughs> so I'm on this jet ski like a buoy, man. I'm frozen. I ain't moving off. And then here comes a the little boy. I was like, thank God. Little boy, little boy. Yes, sir, I need your help. What is it? My jet ski done broke down and man, I need you to get some help. Little boy said, right away, sir. I said, go on. So he sped off and came back with the jet ski professional. And he comes back and said, Mr. Crawford, telling me stuff I already know. Stay still. <laughs> Stay still. I said, look here, fool, I'm frozen. <laughs> I ain't moving for nothing. He said, okay, Mr. Crawford, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb on your jet ski. I said, where the hell I'm going? <laughs> you stay right there. I said, okay, man, this is some freaky stuff now. <laughs> he like, calm down, Mr. Crawford. That was the first procedure. <laughs> now I'm going to climb behind you. I like, oh, hell no. Dude, you better not have your way with me out here in the middle of this damn ocean. And I can't fight you because I don't want to fall in this damn water. He, he's like, Mr. Crawford, I am not like that. <laughs> so he, he proceeds to climb behind me, but when he did, his way and my way tumbled us right into the damn Pacific Ocean. Here I am in the middle of the ocean, dressed in a suit with my gaiters on. I'm like, hell no, thanks a lot. Now I'm gonna be shark buffet. <laughs> you bastard, why you do that? And I said, what we gonna do? He looked at me and looked at me again and jumped out of the water like Aquaman. I was like, wow. I, and jumped right back on his jet ski. I said, damn. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> He's talking about do what I did. I said, you bastard, if I could do what you did, don't you think I'd have been up there by now? He said, well, if you can't jump out of the water, Mr. Crawford, what you should do is get behind your jet ski and press down on it and leapfrog onto your jet ski. <laughs> See, y'all laughing, because you know good. And damn well, I can't even leapfrog on dry land. <laughs> How in the hell I'm a leapfrog in the middle of the ocean? He said, Mr. Crawford, I need you to try. I said, okay, doggone it, I'm gonna try. And I pressed down, and I pressed down, and my blood sugar got low. 
I said, you know what, man? Just go on without me. I guess I'm dead. He said, no, I'm going to tow you in. <laughs> I said, okay. So he started towing me in, and I, I'm coming down, and the people on the beach was with their cameras talking about, what did he catch? What did he catch? <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.